Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land. Please say this pyre. We threw away an Ascension 20 victory. Nobody is sadder about it than I am. Well, I'm not sad. It was the furthest 20 Ascension run we've ever had. And hey, if you're only going to beat Ascension 20 once, which is likely, before we pop off hopefully a double-digit Ascension 0 streak, maybe that's wishful thinking, um... Let's save it for a rainy day. We still got a long way to go with our other characters. Easy choice. Random rare. <clears throat> Exhum is a wonderful card. Hexaghost boss. I don't really feel confident fighting three elites, but I would fight two. The problem with Exhum is very obvious. We have no exhaustible cards. So we're just going to play it to get it out of our deck. I apologize, by the way. I'm a little hoarse. Not like, you know, a pony. Which I recently found out was a different species and not just a young horse. Like the Pope is the young Pope. Um, and then I followed up my morning time hoarseness. By going to an ice rink. Maybe not the wisest idea, but hey. You only die once. Not sick. I want to make that clear. This one hurts. Literally, because we're going to take Hemokinesis. I don't like... Uh, and this is, thankfully, a good opportunity for us to heal up. I don't like ne taking Hemokinesis necessarily. But we need, especially with uh, our random rare not being a card with any kind of offensive value whatsoever, we need some kind of offense if we're going to kill elites. It's another tough choice. Ghostly Armor is, I think, full stop the best card. Rampage is not good, but it might be good enough early for us to rely on it. So I'm going to give it a shot. Every time, two strikes. I thought about it. I thought about it closely. Now, I hate it, but we are going to rest. Basically, we upgraded two strikes instead of upgrading a card of our choice, is the way that I can think about that. Is that good? Mm, not really. I think here, we play uh, no cards, save your energy. Definitely play a bash, save your energy. Rampage is going to come around. If things get dire, don't forget about your smoke bomb. Dude, being able to save all this energy is actually so nice. Okay. So this time, we'll play everything. Still get to roll over two energy. This is a great boss to fight when you have... Uh, when you have ice cream. We're going to take a, a decent hit, but simultaneously. You know, why play Hemokinesis here when we're going to kill you anyway? No reason to get fancy. The boot. I, I believe that there's a way for that to be awesome, but we don't have it. Um, and we're going to take a disarm, specifically minded to counter the Hexaghost. We can also disarm... Yeah, we should still play it. We can uh, disarm, exhum, disarm. <clears throat> I have to think. With four energy, yes. 21. Yeah, why not kill you? We gain a little bit of HP overall. I think keep the smoke bomb. You might need it. Out of these, I, I don't think we need corruption. At least not yet. And I think we'll probably try to fight this boss. Self-forming clay. Actually works pretty well um, with Hemokinesis, at least. Hmm. Still only three energy. So we'll take three. Smack ya. Save our remaining energy. I don't feel bad about this run at all uh, so far. Now, don't take that to mean that I, you know, necessarily feel good about it. Because that's not really the case either. But I, I have no reason to be, like, overly concerned, I think, about the way that it's going so far. In my head, I'm just like, is it even worth Exhum Disarm? The answer to that question, by the way, is no. <laughs> Especially when he keeps getting stronger turn after turn. But uh, it's okay, we're getting through there. With vulnerability, what do we got to do? Ah, not that much. We're okay. I still think you keep Smoke Bomb. 
We take Whirlwind over Armaments. That's how you know I'm a changed man. Excuse me, can you... Thank you. I'm talking to myself. Can you click on the enemy, please? Hit him with one of these. You know, I think with, for one energy on Whirlwind, I'd rather just save the energy for the next turn. Um, but this sucks. You know... See you in heck, my man. Do we still heal? We do. I think at this point, you should take a basic unupgraded strike. I do think we should rest first, just to be safe. But we have good counters for every boss. This is the worst, but it's still okay. I'm just thinking... Do you think it's... Uh, I mean, a bash is good, but I kind of like this play. Let's try Disarm, Exhum, Disarm. And start him four strength down. I'd rather have one extra energy next turn. He's not doing that much. Rampage for sure. Strike. Hemokinesis. Strike. Pretty solid turn. Hmm. I would rather not play skills. So I'll tell you what. Now, we should probably play a skill. It, it doesn't save us much, but I think it was fine. Nunchuck, Power Potion. If we had Rupture, we could take Brutality. I think Clothesline is the best um, against this boss, so we'll roll that. And let's upgrade uh, Disarm. I think we're well equipped. We specifically tailored our fight to take this guy out. I don't think it's worth too much, but... They, they're like, it feels so weird with the music gone. <laughs> um, okay, we'll strike double whirlwind. That's fine. Not a great start, but it's okay. 12 damage. That's nothing. Disarm, exhum, disarm. Welcome to the freaking show. He is now useless. And I feel like a freaking genius. Alright, so rampage is a huge part of our sustenance strategy. Um, I think I will Hemokinesis. It is worth three block, not that we need it, at least right now. I don't see us running into trouble. Is it worth playing a, a block? I don't think so. Dude, Nunchuck gave us extra energy. I'd rather save it, honestly, than use it on a, a Whirlwind or a block. Oh, now you're doing four damage. That's frightening. I'll still Hemokinesis. Because it's still, it's an attack for Nunchuck, and it's also three block. Which is exactly what we need here. So he is going to get to do one more attack. Of zero times six, which is, I mean, it's just an embarrassing thing to be a part of. I feel bad for him. Now, don't get it twisted. It looks okay, and I agree. However, we have not won yet. Doesn't really matter what we play. Well, okay. It still didn't, but... Out of these, I still think you take Immolate. Exhum for the memes, perhaps. But I think Immolate is the best. I hope I'm not wrong. Dude, I gotta be honest, I think Runic Cube... We, we have the mildest Hemokinesis synergy doing something. 335 gold. Dodging Elites, not a problem up here. Fighting Elites, maybe not a problem up here. It depends on your tolerance. This is where we want Whirlwind. Like, like crazy. Um, might sound ridiculous. I mean, I guess Immolate will crush them as well. I think we play... Like one 
of these and then store energy to hope to get a four damage whirlwind or a four attack whirlwind and take them all out. I'm not going to say that I'm like a genius, but like Twitch Prime in the top right, by the way. So now they're totally screwed. And that's why you want Whirlwind. This arm also does pretty well against these guys, especially with an Exhum, but easy. Easy clap. I think now um, we want an Armaments, and that'll be an early upgrade target for us if we're lucky enough to be able to upgrade. Armaments Immolate is worth more damage than a Strike or a Whirlwind. So I'm gonna, I, I should have been doing this earlier. I'm gonna start playing Whirlwind for zero to increment Nunchuck. I'm all about trying to make this pop now. Now, um, now that we have some decent stuff. Very good. Um, I mean, I'd rather not get hit for 12. But I think I'm okay with it. Was hoping we'd have enough to get you on this turn. Not likely. I think we would love a headbutt to bring Rampage and Immolate back faster. We actually, if we're given the opportunity, we'd probably like a true grid as well. Now the thing is, um, everything here is takeable. Hemokinesis is very takeable, especially if we get a rupture. We already have one. We, we do 14, draw a card, take three damage. Gain three block. Like, it's it's high value. I think we might be able to build around it. I don't say that lightly, because we very, very rarely ever do this. Um, Shrug is obviously good. If we were going to duplicate a card, I don't know what it would be. Two Immolates is, is actually really good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you sold me. But I would love to be able to play statuses as well. Do we need three hemokinesis? That seems a little little too much. I think I'm fine with where we're at. I thought about... You know what? We could probably get away with removing a basic strike. 20 cards is a pretty good level to be at. If we take this, I don't think we'll be able to remove it. So I think I'll say no for now. And we're just going to play the, the safe bet. Honestly, start here. Why do it that way? I wanted to see what we drew. Not that it was ever going to be better, but... It's not so bad. So we're going to bash. Hemokinesis for free. Clothesline for cheap. Let's put up a little bit more block. Increment this to get one closer. Really, really want to not have to rest. And we're definitely going to be fine. Actually, very bad use of the regen. So I'm happy we got another one. Uh, I think we want true grits. And they do need to be upgraded. But we'll upgrade them through armaments probably. The idea is we want to be able to get rid of the burns we're going to be adding. And we're going to be adding like a lot of burns. <laughs> <laughs> God willing, at least, because that means we're putting a lot of uh, we're putting a lot of immolates out into the uh, environment. So basically, every energy gets us ten damage here. I still think I'd rather do that, but then maybe we're okay putting twenty damage out there instead of playing rampage. Rampage didn't end up, or at least as of yet, has not ended up actually being that useful. Oh well. Um, we'll probably end up doing this and then a shrug instead of playing armaments. Frailty is going to be bad here, of course. I mean, I'm still a... Oh, that doesn't really work here. That's right. All right, let's get the regen going. Keep smacking. We're going to have six extra block. I mean, we have to hit him. So I'm okay, I think, taking two damage. And then... I'll hit him for 18 and draw. Hit him for another eight. 
I don't know if we're gonna get him next turn. I also don't know if I'm gonna finish going through puberty by the end of this episode or not. As of right now, it's a little up in the air. I mean, I, I could have told you. We weren't getting to where we needed to go here, which means we're going to take a bunch more damage, and it will probably necessitate a rest, honestly. So, I mean, personally, probably seems pretty dumb. I'm going to try to get this extra 3 HP. You never know. It might matter. Now we got to kill him. We got 2 HP. 35, Blood Potion. I do think Headbutt is critical. I'll tell you what. Smith. And uh, Whirlwind, I think, it's next best. See what you get. Bronze Scales are solid. Probably shouldn't, but I'm gonna. And these Immolates are a, a very good upgrade target as well. Maybe even better than Whirlwind. Uh-oh. <laughs> this isn't where you want to be. Straight up. Hit him. And you get three block next turn. Save. Well, I was going to say save the rest of your energy. But we actually didn't do too bad on the back end there. You want Immolates and Whirlwinds. Okay, I'll tell you. Whirlwind is 24 each. This is 21, and it's cheaper. Not a great turn, but they're both nearly dead. So am I. We're going to be fine, but we, I mean, we're going to be engaging in cowardice. And we're going to be resting. Cowardice, please. D didn't accept. You saw the first click. It chose not to accept it. This is horrible. Um, I will become cursed. These guys aren't too bad if we get an early immolate. I'll accept whirlwind. And then just give me an immolate on this turn. I think we're best off here. Pretty good chance to draw Immolate next turn. Yikes. Easy choice. Very familiar looking fight. Um, we got extra energy out of that, huh? I think we'll disarm you. And, uh, you know... I'm going to strike you and take the two damage. We get three block next turn. Who knows? We got to make sure this guy dies. Anytime we get a chance to hit you, we're going to hit you. But dude, this is, is getting tight. <clears throat> it's not tight. We're, in a, we're dead. We're literally exactly dead. That one hurts me a great deal, because I thought we had a good thing going. You know what you do when you die? You start again. You also open the door, because it's getting a little hot in here. Easy, random rare. Double tap, I think works best in a deck with zero cost attacks. I apologize for the... For the... Anyway, let's fight two elites here. Early body slams, please. That last run was going okay. Maybe we should have rested. I mean, there's no maybe. We definitely should have rested. I am a fool. I forgot we're weak. I don't forget that too often. Like in real life. Entrench sucks for now. Give me a shrug. It could be great later. No doubt. Exhum, Sentinel. Exhum, sure. I think it's good enough. Bash, pain, pain, sentinel. 
Okay, we got an exhum. Useless right now, but a lot of good attacks. Um, are uh, ethereal or they exhaust. So I'm not sweating it just yet. 18 more damage. Easy enough to kill you next turn. No complaints. Please, a good attack. Um, This is a tough one. I think we take Cleave just because we need an attack. Evolve is really good against, a, you know, some elites. Particularly some elites we may end up uh, facing. But so was Cleave, for that matter. We, I mean, the, in the end, we wanted it both. You know, we wanted AoE, and we wanted Evolve. But I think damage is a little bit more important. Power Potion. Um, I think you need a Perfected Strike, just for raw damage. I don't love the card anymore, but uh, I do think it's worth it. Dude, I... I want Hand of Greed. We never have the opportunity to take it anymore. Pummel Exhaust, but we don't have Strength. Headbutt brings back Perfected Strike. Double Tap Perfected is like our best deal right now. But I don't know, maybe we'd rather just have 5 max HP. No, I think we want Headbutt. I hate to say it. But I think we want Headbutt for raw damage potential. So here... I'm hopeful we don't even feel like we need to use our power potion. I was going for a headbutt. This is gonna hurt. Give me perfected. Give me a double tap. And I'll just play this. Oh, we were so close. Oh, well. Still doing okay. Vira's pretty good. I don't know. Do we feel like a rage is that useful? Yeah. Yeah. I honestly think we rest. And our whole game plan is just get through these elites. You're so lucky. Call me crazy. I actually think Combust is our best option. We should really block. Combust is like having a, a cleave every turn. So this turn we don't mind at all. And in fact, I think we'd rather bring back Cleave. No, because you're going to be dead. We'll bring back Perfected. That would have been highly wrong. Very, very good fight. Meat on the bone is fine. And Uppercut is a, a very takeable card. Bag of Marbles is pretty good. Dude, I'm going to go for it. We knew it was going to be Lagavulin. Honestly, might be the boss we fare best against. And uh, I think it's as good of a first turn as you're going to get against this guy. Because of Meat on the Bone, uh, I don't actually feel like we're in that much long-term trouble for doing this. I'm trying to look at the math here. I think we would like to Strike, Shrug... And then headbutt. Um, in terms of raw damage, perfected is slightly better, so let's go for that. We gotta hit you for seven next turn. Is a very strong run for fighting elites on the first floor. Preserved insect. Keep it going, boys. We'll take another perfected. Um, I'm not sold, but I'm feeling okay. 21 damage, huh? Yeah, this is fine. Now switch rolls. They didn't quite switch. 
But I think you're still toast. Dude, we're getting so freaking lucky. Who's our boss? Hexaghost. We'd actually like to burn some HP. If possible. Um, well, <laughs> how much? How much do you want to burn some HP? You know what? I, I do. I think that that's enough. I will anger the mushrooms. I think we can afford to do this. Really wanted like a cleave. I can live with this. Cleaves, please. Yikes. Um, we can still kill one. And then pop this. And then perfected kills you. More or less. Okay. We're not as susceptible to vulnerability. I think we want to flex. Offering is also kind of close thanks to meat on the bone. Dude, bag of marbles is saving us a world of hurt. Easy. Um, I don't really want to draw perfected. I kind of misplayed that. Should have played headbutt last. Just doing the math. Um, but it, it still worked out relatively well. Dude, you know what? Give me three perfecteds. I'm ready to go. Now, I think they're going to need upgrades. And I'm very happy to have thorns. Do not get me wrong. Anything that gives vulnerability, no. But, dude, a free perfected on turn one. We could uppercut into that, but... This is like 14 plus 37. No, no, no. We're better off like this. Might as well draw first. Fair enough. That's an insanely good start. Now, you are doing 30 damage. Hello. Hello. Um, probably like 6.30. <clears throat> Is that good? I'll take it. Alright, just stay strong. 12 damage. That's not so good. You know, I mean, we gotta take the 12, I think, in headbutt. One perfected back. Probably follow it by... I don't know. I mean, you could do a, a double tap, I guess. It's going to be a little tight. But not that tight. It's pretty clear we need some kind of extra defense. But for now, it's working. Now, for God's sakes, be careful about adding more strike-related cards. Um, I love Immolate. It makes killing enemies that much easier. Feed and Juggernaut work really well together. Dude, I think you need to immolate. I think we want the AoE. Yikes. Um, We can't transform strikes. We have to rest, probably. So give me Busted Crown. I'm not sad. This allows us to play two perfected strikes per turn. And especially on the first turn. That's incredible. So we can take this path and, and just dodge elites. Or, I don't know, maybe we actually like to choose to fight them. Your mileage may vary. So this is three block, one more of those. We do take ten damage. We can afford to be a little bit dicier. Because of, uh, because of meat on the bone. I think. Doesn't matter. Um, so he's going to hit us for 10. We're going to be at 37. That's actually like, if we're going to be low, that's exactly where we'd want to be. There is an inflection point at some point. Like, we'd rather be at 37 than 38. 
We healed at 55. So if we're below 49, we'd rather be at 37. I think that my math is actually slightly off because I'm not factoring in the burning blood heal, but you get the idea. Somewhere around there. I will take Ritual Dagger. I will take Lantern for certain. Dude, you know what? I think we do fight elites. I think we go for broke. Try to farm up as many, uh... That's fine. Try to farm up as many relics as you can and hope for the best. Very good fight. And Tropic Brew is insanely good. This is already one energy. Bare minimum 12 damage. And it exhausts. I think we can afford to take it. Many interesting options. Ritual Dagger not exhausting is good. We have no powers, but we could change that. But I, I, I don't know. I feel like we're better off with Strange Spoon. A block. And another block. <laughs> Deck's getting fat, but like... I don't think it's bad. I'm also... I want to level up Double Tap for sure. I mean, it gets twice as good. That's a pretty good heuristic to use. All right, so just crush these dudes. Oh my god, draw Immolate, please. No Immolate. It's okay. Hello, Ruka. Just remember, Entropic Brew does nothing by itself. I have an idea. I hate that it's such a huge overkill. But oh well. Easy elite fight. And we still get to hold one, two potions. I don't think we need a disarm. Um, this will heal us for seven or eight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rest this time. And get ready for the next elite fight. Dude, this is more relics than you ever get on ascension mode. I was worried about this guy. Probably start with a shrug. I actually like immolate, headbutt, immolate. Just for raw damage. Um, He's going to get two burns on us regardless. Unless we pop this. So I think you just smack him. Hope for a double tap immolate. I think I'm okay getting hit four times. You know, I actually, I disagree. Well, <laughs> that's why you draw first. Now, find a way to do 40 damage, please. That'll work. Very decent fight. Fossilized Helix is incredible. Screw that blood potion, man. We want this one. True Grit. With burns, we kind of would like it, but I can't promise we're going to get a chance to upgrade it. Good weakness opportunity, please. Good spoon opportunity. Ah, that's all right. And we, we finally have an exhumed target. Are you... You are not dusted. Really wanted that to be some form of block. It's okay, we're gonna take eight. Not a big deal. Um, well, it's okay. We're okay taking a little bit of damage if we have to. And we do have to. Should have done the math to put us below, but I think we just ice him. I don't think we need a sword boomerang. Um, I'd rather rest now for the peace of mind 
And if we have to rest later, cool. If we don't, obviously better. 28 damage, huh? So let's start here. One of these days, dude, I'm telling you. Let's not draw again. Um, one of these days, the spoon is going to work on Ritual Dagger. And you should see your face, man. Tell you, you're very lucky. It worked! <laughs> now we can headbutt it back. Headbutt, shrug. No, we have no draw. Fine. It still did what it was supposed to do. Yo, it's a pretty good start. Let's draw. We were hoping for double tap. Um, no such luck. But, still pretty solid. Ritual Dagger is getting fat. And not always getting exhausted, I might add. This guy's in a lot of trouble. Headbutt Ritual Dagger. No, we need an exhum to make that work. Well, taking no damage. Still have buffer. Easy. Not necessary. Dude, I'm feeling okay. Next upgrade. Um, I mean, Ritual Dagger is already kind of there. I think we would like... I mean, a free exhum is pretty good. But these perfected strikes are also mission critical. Wish us luck, please. We have good AoE. That's important. Try to use your buffer on a big attack. You might not love this, but I do. Just let me make sure it's right. 14 will take you down to 30. Yeah, this will work. Keep that buffer strong. It just says kills an enemy. Yo, the spoon got it too. Smack him. We're in such a good position early. This is kind of... It's remarkable to me. We're not even going to take damage here. Or lose our buffer for that matter. So we want, uh, like, I think we've already used Headbutt, but we want Immolate to come around. The debuffs are bad, no question. I mean, you gotta go. This should use our buffer for this. Lovely. It's productive. <clears throat> Nothing's in our discard pile. So I think you just do it like that. We're gonna take 31. Life goes on. Double tap perfected is pretty good. <clears throat> you know what we would love? Is, uh... I'm trying to think now. Any like kunai would be incredible. Well, I, we got a bash. We got a ritual. Didn't get spooned that time, unfortunately. We got a block. And just slow your roll on this blood potion. No need to use it unless there's a need to use it. 28. 77. We got you real close. So we're dying. Let's change that. Oh, Pummel didn't exhaust. Alright, we just gotta get you next turn. Easy. Who? Still alive, Ascension 18. <clears throat> Why not? I think it fits. I'm sore we weren't able to take it last time. I still think Sozu's the best, even though we might fight elites. 
Black Star is pretty helpful. We want to fight elites, but we want to fight them productively. These two are the best, I think. Six energy, gotta love it. So we don't need to put up any block. Might not be the worst idea. But we don't have that opportunity. Even like Ornamental Fan would be pretty good here. I don't know why I said it like it's a secret. Bash Perfected will do 55 damage. Block whatever you're able. We're just putting these guys in like double tap immolate range. It's a bad turn, unfortunately. Exhum is a dead card until it isn't. Immolate, please. Hmm. Didn't exhaust. Love to see that. Wouldn't mind getting hit for another, uh, like, six. What about getting hit for nine? Let's do it. I think it still benefits us with meat on the bone. Dude, we drew Ritual Dagger. That's hilarious. It didn't exhaust. I was waiting for Headbutt. Oh, well. Dude, Ritual Dagger is getting disgusting. No. What happened? Oh, my God. Ruka. Sorry about that, nature called. Cat didn't like the fishy eight. <sighs> Fight a boss from act one. Easy clap. Well, I don't love this. It's not horrible. In fact, I, I, I don't know why I said I don't love this. I thought about it for two seconds and realized I completely love this. One more uh, immolate, these guys are toast. Or we could just do this. Also works. Ice cream is pretty great. Is it Dono Deca? Dude. I'm feeling pretty good. Take Flex. I think it's like our least valuable card. Free question card. <clears throat> All right, be strong here. 46 damage. Probably still should have drawn first, but... All right, this should be easy, especially with uh, a Juggernaut in the deck. And I mean, beyond that, even like with Ice Cream, we can just wait it out. We did, why, why play that? <laughs> this is what we want. So now we can just whittle. Not that we need to. You know what? We have the buffer. Clash and headbutt. I'm a big fan of like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I don't dislike the headbutt, but why, why throw anything into the mix if the mix is working so nice? Well, I hate that we have to do it like this. I mean, we don't have to do it like this. I could smack you and smack you. But I really... I think we're better off... 
staying ahead of the curve. All I want is to use buffer on you. On, on you, sorry. Sounds good to me. Now we do our damage. Next turn. I'm not going to use uh, blocks to do five damage. It's the worst attack we have. If only. Dude, we have 807 gold. We gotta hit the shop over the elite. Oh, we can we could do both. Seven energy, huh? Let's try it like this. Let's go! No! <laughs> we we had lethal, I just tried to get too fancy. That was supremely idiotic, by the way. I am a fool, and I will pay for my idiocy by taking a bunch of damage here that I shouldn't have taken. And then they're all dead, so no big deal, but... Gremlin Horn is okay. I don't think we need the energy, but why not? Like, what do we lose by taking Seeing Red? Not very much. Now rest, I hate to say it, but it's my own idiocy that forces me to rest here. This is kind of a problem, but... Now we just want this in the deck. Save your energy for next turn. Um, we don't necessarily need it, or we don't want it right away. We just want it in the deck. Same thing here. Might as well pop this, just to give you the uh, energy for next turn. Thanks to ice cream. Just trying to punch through. 14, 19, 16. Okay, perfect. I'm saying there's a chance. Thirty-five. Twenty-eight. E almost. Three more turns. We lost our buffer. And a good bit of our energy as well. Was that a doubled double tap? Yes. So let's start Vash. Three damage is no big deal. Final turn. He's very vulnerable. Another three damage. Totally fine. I don't think we need spot weakness. I will say I think I like a metallicize. Strawberry. Are we... I mean, this is do or die. Let's do instead of die. I prefer do to die here. You gotta think. <laughs> I still I stand by this to get them all weak enough to kill, but yeah, that sucked. This is okay. I like that a great deal. It didn't exhaust, which is wonderful. And we're back. I don't think we want to. It's close, don't get me wrong. But I don't think we want to. Why not? Didn't exhaust, let's go. Um, why not? Well, because I want this guy's relic. I actually literally just go ahead. Save your energy. 
<clears throat> I want his relic. I want the heal opportunities. I want it all. Very disappointed we're not killing him this turn, but he looks pretty bad. A lot of burns. Don't get me wrong. Very easy. You know, I mean, it's it's close, but I actually don't think we really care about Reaper. I don't say that lightly. This guy can be a problem. Here's the thing. I'd rather not take any damage. If we're going to use Buffer, I was going to at least make it worth my while. Then you start here. <clears throat> yeah. My bad. We're gonna we're gonna rest. That much is for certain. Like fifty five damage. It's not quite gonna get there. Oh, wait. It's so close. I actually like to get hit a little more. But, whatever. Entropic Brew, I wish we could have it, but I forgot that we couldn't until that exact moment. So, um, I think a Blood Potion is really good, but use your head here, because this is really, really strong. Um, oddly Smooth Stone, no doubt. We can't take the Blood Potion. <laughs> For the 500th time. What else? Um, I don't think violence is bad here. I think carnage is pretty good. I also think we can pull a basic defend. I don't think anything else matters that much. I mean, if we if replace a basic defend with a true grid, it could be seen as a an upgrade. Um, 73 HP. Here we go, boys. It's been a solid one. Just hold her together. Purged one of their artifacts already. Tell you right off the bat. I think you play nothing. I know that seems like... Actually, we play one defend. I know that seems galaxy brain. I'd rather have the energy than play all these basic strikes. 33 card deck. We get a bunch of basic strikes. It's a slap in the face. This turn. At least put something out there. We got five floated energy for every subsequent turn. Here's where it's got to start to pop. Not exhausted. Love to see it. Give me a draw. Fine by me. We got to take you down pretty quick. This turn would be nice. You're so lucky. And I'm I'm very, very unlucky. But if only I struck you earlier. We have no attacks from our draw pile. <laughs> what... I don't even think we want Ritual Dagger. How on earth are we going to live? We're, we're not gonna, is the thing. 36 damage. Why, Lisa? Please talk to me. Ah! I hate this game, but I love it. I just hate how much I love it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. One of these days we're going to get there. For now, uh, it's not today. If you did enjoy it, click the like button. It helps us a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!